Hello, I'm the Cynic Critic, and this is Book By Its Cover Trailer Reviews, which, if you can read, you already knew. Today I'm going to review the trailer for the Amazing Spider-Man movie, the reboot of the popular, until the third one, Spider-Man trilogy. So, I mean, you know, the best way to review it is to watch the trailer. So here you go. How did you get out there? The fire escape. It's 20 stories. The doorman's intimidating. You tell us a little bit about yourself, Mr. Parker. Not much to tell, really. Peter looks with his aunt and uncle. Did you catch that spider guy yet? No, but we will. This guy wears a mask like an outlaw. I think he's trying to do something maybe the police can't. Can't? <laughs> <clears throat> you know, if you're gonna steal cars, don't dress like a car thief. You a cop? You seriously think I'm a cop? In a skin tie, red and blue suit. Who are you? I know it's been rough for you, Peter. <laughs> I forgot all about that thing. It was your dad's. Your father was a very secretive man, Peter. Dr. Connors, I'm Richard Parker's son. Your father and I were gonna change the lives of millions, including mine. Extraordinary, how did you come up with this? There's a rumor of a new species in New York. It can be aggressive if threatened. I gotta stop him, because I created him. That's not your job. Maybe it is. Thirty-eight of New York's finest versus one guy in a unitard. Woo! If you want the truth, Peter, come and get it. I am issuing an arrest warrant for the masked vigilante known as Spider-Man. I'm in trouble. I have some significant problems with this trailer, which if you know me, you might have guessed. First off, they showed the whole movie. Every minute of it. Every single important plot detail they could possibly have in the movie was shown in the trailers aside from the ending, which, if you know that they're making a sequel, you already knew as well. Now I'm not talking about the origin story because that one's obvious. Sure, put as much of the origin story in as you want within reason. Now I do appreciate that they seem to be going back to the character of what Spider-Man originally was in the old comics. He's witty, he made his own web shooters, etc. And I approve of the casting of Andrew Garfield. He's probably going to be a great Spider-Man. And you know, you always have greats like Martin Sheen in there too, and I think they're going to be pretty good. I don't think the acting is going to be a problem with this movie. Screenplay. I think the screenplay is going to have some problems, but that's just me. But overall, I just can't get past the fact that they showed every single moment of the film in the trailer, and that shows to me that they think the movie is going to be weak, so they shove as much of the action in as possible in the hopes that we'll go see it. Well, guys, we're already going to go see it. There have been a string of superhero movies that have come out, and they've both been, for the most part, critical and box office gold. So by the mere fact that you're making a Spider-Man movie, we're going to go see it. But I'm not. You're not getting my money for this. No, you're not. Why? Because why would I pay 20 bucks to watch something that I've already seen? 
why would I pay to watch something that if I just combine the two trailers and the fact that I know Spider-Man is going to be alive at the end, I just take that and I already know what's going to happen. Every single important plot detail. And I'm also pretty sure they're not going to stray too far away from the plot points of the original. Spider-Man fights a villain. Villain seems to defeat Spider-Man. All hope seems lost. Spider-Man wins. That's what this one's going to do. Don't, don't try to tell me that it won't. Once again, I challenge the filmmakers to prove me wrong. I'm quite open to the idea. But I think it's going to be a mediocre movie at best. So, my estimated tomato meter rating? 79%. I don't think it's a strong enough movie to go past that point, and I don't think the filmmakers think so either. I, again, prove me wrong. Get that 94% on the tomato meter rating that you're clearly hoping for. Go ahead. You're going to make a bajillion amount of dollars doing it anyway. Ten of those dollars aren't going to be mine. So, until next time. See ya.